Hallelujah. Here's what we're going to do. I don't want any talking, please. No chitter chatter. We don't want to break what is happening here. The spirit of the Lord and the presence of God is very thick. We're going to transition straight into the word of God. We have prophet Barry Miracle here. We're not going to do announcements. What I would like you to do is get your tithes and offerings prepared and please just quietly bring them and put them in the in the buckets as usual. Please don't chatter amongst yourselves. Stay stay in this place. Praise you Jesus. You are so good, Father. We glorify your name, Jesus. There's the debit machine at the back, if you need the debit machine. You are so good. Oh, Lord, you are so good. Jesus, we open our hearts for the word right now. You are so precious. Your word, O oh Lord, brings life. Your love is so encompassing, Lord. We receive you for life. We glorify and honor your presence in this house right now. We honor you, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. We honor you, Lord. And Father, we thank you for divine connections, divine relationships. We thank you for Prophet Barry Miracle. We thank you for the word that you have put in his heart for us today. And the greatest way we can honor you this morning, Father God, is by receiving the word as though it is from the throne room of heaven. So we lay aside all of our preconceived notions of what is about to happen. We lay down all of the guards around our hearts and we open up wide to receive what it is the Spirit of God is saying. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Bless you, brother. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> There's no more chains. No more chains. There's no more chains. It's just a facade. It's a lie. I am free, free indeed, free indeed, free indeed, yes, whom the Lord sets free. Somebody said, I'm free indeed. Thank you, three people. Let's try that again. Hey, I'm free indeed. Oh. There's no more chains, no more chains. Zero, nil, none, no more chains. Woo! I am now the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. The righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. On my worst day, 
on my worst day. Yes, I am free, I am free, I am free. Whom the Lord sets free is free indeed. I've been set free for freedom's sake. The spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set me free from the law of sin and death. I've been set free in every way from anyone's control. I am free. Somebody say, I am free. Somebody turn up my mic just a little bit. I am free. A little bit too much, maybe just a little bit down. <laughs> I am free. I am free. I am free. Whom the Lord says free is free indeed. Woo! Whoa. What a glorious day. Don't feel like you have to sit down. I'm standing up. I'm going to work this whole day. I am so honored to be in a house of revival. Don't you, don't you, well, don't you waste one more moment praying for revival. Because it's here right now, baby, it's here right now. You are in the midst of revival. This is the day that the Lord has been waiting for. This is the day that he has made. We are rejoicing in the midst of it, not groveling for it. We are standing in the midst of the glory, the revival, the healing revival that he's been waiting for. Woo! There's deliverance coming right now. Woo! There's deliverance coming right now. Woo! Woo! There's an anointing of mass deliverance happening right now. Right now. Right now. I don't, it's sweeping right through here. There's an, I released an anointing. A ma, an anointing of mass biblical proportions against everything contrary to your dream right now in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I receive. Say, I am a generous receiver. And I receive my deliverance, my salvation, my healing right now, right now, right now, in Jesus' name. Come on, somebody give him a hand clap of praise. Don't patty cake my Jesus. Come on, give him a shout of victory. Woo! Woo! How do you swim in soup? I don't know. How do you? It's so thick up in here, up in here. I honor our Father, and I honor His Son, and I honor the presence of Holy Spirit. I honor the name and lift up the name of the Lord Jesus Christ over every situation, every, over every circumstance, over every problem, over every pain, over everything that is contrary to the word of God and the dream of God. I lift up the name of Jesus over it all. At the name of Jesus, every knee. Somebody say every knee. Every knee. Every knee shall bow in the name of Jesus. Somebody say Jesus. Oh, don't say it like you don't mean it. Come on, somebody say Jesus. Jesus! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say Father God. Let's try that again. Say Father God. Whoa, there it is. We went from 110 to 220 just like that. Come on now. Say, Father God, in the name of Jesus, 
I decree and declare. Holy Spirit, Lord, over my mind, my will, my emotions, and my body. My body, my body is the temple of Holy Spirit. My body is not a sanctuary for sickness. My body is not an incubator for infirmity. My body is the healed of the Lord. Right now, I'm the healed of the Lord. I receive my healing right now. I receive my deliverance right now. I receive my salvation right now in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody say hey. Woo! Say hey. Come on, give me a hey. Hey is the fifth letter of the Jewish alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet. When you say hey, you are actually releasing the prophetic breath of God into your situation. When you say hey, you're releasing the hey, the yud hey, wa, va hey, or wa hey, Yahweh. When you are releasing hey, you're releasing the breath of God right into your situation, right into your circumstance. And I want to say it's going right into the homes of your backslidden children, going home, right? We, we're coming after them this morning. Somebody say hey. 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 Woo. Woo. We shot out of my young dead Mama Hai. We speak right now, angels of the living God, that are addressed to our children, to minister to, through, and for them. We say, angels, go get my kids. Bring them home all the way into the kingdom and repent all the way in. In Jesus' name, I speak deliverance over our children. Deliverance now in Jesus' mighty name. Shakara. Young man, you you're, have your hand raised up. Your hand, neck is on the, get out in the, in the aisle here, please. Rabakashi hai. Urabababashi kariandarabakaya yo yo yo. Randa raba karie tiki tika baba mama mahai rata karie baby bishinga ndora mahai marondoria tara barianda da the molecular structure of your eyes is shifting and changing even this day. Your eyes are about to shift. You're about to have a turnaround season because your your eyes are are about to see something new. Your eyes are being healed in the spirit. Your eyes are being healed. You will never have degeneration eye. You will never have any of the things that that retina that will not fail you. You will not. You will grow old and your eyes will not wean, says the Lord. But you are changing in strength. Shifting your focus today in Jesus' mighty name. You're taking it off. You are the righteousness of God. See yourself so in Jesus' mighty name. We release the seer anointing over you today. We mantle you with a seer anointing in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise like you mean it. Come on, don't patty cake Jesus. Come on, don't patty cake, Jesus. Give him a, a praise that's due his name. Jesus. Woo! Jesus. Somebody say, this is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. 
I will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Daddy. Father God, you have clearly, Holy Spirit has clearly, Jesus is clearly Lord in this house. Father, I thank you for the spirit of expectation. I thank you that the spirit of expectation is in this room is the breeding ground for the miraculous. Father God, I declare right now in Jesus' mighty name, within the sound of my voice, every bit of pain in this house, I command you to drain out of bodies in Jesus' mighty name. Everything wrong made right now in Jesus' name. We thank you for liberty. Father God, your Bible says where the Spirit is made Lord, there is liberty. We have made you, precious Holy Spirit, Parakletos, the, the one that would come alongside us, the one that was our 100% guarantee, the one that we have become one with. We are so grateful that you are here right now. We love you. We honor you, precious Holy Spirit. We honor you, Jesus. We honor the blood and body sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And Father God, we honor you today. We honor you. We, we say, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Father God, we honor you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your loving kindness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your patience. And Father God, as I minister over these next moments, I'm praying that Jesus would be glorified. Holy Spirit would be manifested. Lives would be changed. Seeds would be sown. Harvest would be Breakthrough would happen. And Father God, we honor the angels that are among us right now. As I prayed earlier, angels come. We welcome you. We honor you. Minister to, through, and for us even this day in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody say there's power in the name, power to proclaim, and power to reclaim. That was what was prophesied in worship. Somebody say Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the proclamation of the name of Jesus giving us power to have reclamation. But you got to reclimatize before you can have reclimatation. There has to be a, a, a you have to reclimatize. You have to come up here, says the Lord, and I will show you some things. Say, my perspective creates my perception, and my perceptions is my reality. And I perceive this day that the Lord is good. Okay, I just want you to just check your bodies right now. God has lifted off the pain off of your bodies. If, if, if pain has left your body over here, yeah, anybody else over here? Come on, anybody who pains left your body right here, right now. Come on, pains left your body. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah. I know it's not 
I know it's not protocol, but I'm going to lay his hands on some of these people. Is that okay? Hallelujah. Just come out in the aisle. If you've, re if you've been delivered from the spirit of pain, just come up, up here quickly, 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 quickly. Let's just check yourself. Check yourself because you just wrecked the enemy. Hallelujah. God, well, three ushers. Good, good, good. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise you, King of glory. Shall not, shall not, shall not come back broken. You got to be quicker. Broken never to return in Jesus' name. Marende kaya ya ya yo ya ma 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 hai ho haya ho ya ya shikaya haya ya ya ya. Never to return, never to return. She carondo rama mama hai. Shanda. She la rondo. Ye kashikai. Ye kashikai. Ye kash. If anybody else just run up here quickly, don't wait. Harando kariande yo yo ya mama hai. Hey ya randa rawa. Say, say, Father. Come on, participation. Say, Father, right now, in Jesus' name, I break the cycles of defeat. There's a breaker anointing here right now. There's a breakthrough anointing right now. It's breaking off hereditary curses. It's breaking off, it's breaking off that cycle of defeat where you are about to make an elevation and then an attempted assassination comes and, and you find yourself back around in that pain and in that problem again but today it's broken i wish i could find somebody that would agree with me this morning say today the cycles of defeat are broken somebody say no more chains no more chains no more chains no more chains. No more chains. Not in my life. Not in my legacy. Woo. Shandarabakaya. Yeah, get all the ushers, Daddy. Get them, get them, get them. Shama, mama, 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 Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> yeah, you can't stop that. Hey, Joy for your morning. Joy. In the morning of the new day, says the Lord, this is your new day. Woo, 
somebody say no more chains. Oh, there's no more chains. There's no more chains. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm getting a good glute workout coming up and down here. Hallelujah. I speak to your genetics. I speak to the, the DNA. I speak right now to the circulatory system. I speak right now to the, the muscle and skeletal system. I speak to the respiratory system. I speak to the digestive system. And I release the spirit of life in Christ Jesus to flow throughout every cell, organ, and tissue of your body. Regeneration come now. flowing and flooding <laughs> transformation mind of Christ mind of Christ Shoo, template Ooh. Oh, cha -la 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 -la. pain pain is broken the root of pain broken hallelujah in Jesus mighty name from the your head to the soles of your feet. Release the power of God. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, let's give God a hand clap of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it, all of it. Protected, not rejected. Protected, not rejected. Protected, not rejected. Held. Held. Covered. Covered so you wouldn't be discovered. Filled in the covering in the place. In the secret place. Will he embrace and change the trajectory of your Face as you look in to his grace, you will receive power for the race. Come up here. <laughs> glug glug. Glug glug. <laughs> All of it. Broken is the cycle of defeat. Broken is the lie. Freedom and liberty. Say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus on my absolute worst day. I receive my liberty. I am free. In every way. From anyone's control. I break the curse words. That have come against me. Now. In 
Jesus' name. I am free. Ilura, ilura. Uchama, ucha la 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 kariki kuchapa. By faith you did come. By faith you shall receive. I release the spirit of life into your mortal body right now. Come alive. Word of God produced now in Jesus' mighty name. Ooh, it's lifting right off of me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Greater grace, greater grace. Greater grace, greater grace. break delay. I break delay now. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Woo! I break I break denial. She mahai. I break it now in Jesus mighty name. feeling okay? You sure, you sure look like you're doing good. You, you, you look like you're about six sheets to the wind. Yeah, that would be good. We'll give her more, Daddy. She is so sweet. The grace she makes alive. Hardly help himself. It is so true. <laughs> they can't win. <laughs> they can't win. They can't. They, they don't have a chance. Say, Father, I'm willing to say what I'm about to say. Say, Father, I don't have a flipping care. I cast my cares upon you, Dad. Father, we just come alongside our sister today. We just lift off the burden. Suzanne Summers will have nothing on me after I get done this meeting. 
Thank you for getting that. My 80s reference. Tammy says it's going to take a lot more than that. Uh, Tammy, just could you stand up for a minute, please? Is there anything you want to share with us? Stand up here. Oh, oh, no, I got one. I'm thanks. Do you want to share anything? Come on up here. You're just so beautiful. I need to show you off. We just welcome Tammy this morning. I know you wanted to do that. (laughs) 31 years. Seven kids later, eight if you count our daughter-in-law, which we do count her. She she counts. (sighs) Yeah, say something. worship as we were um, declaring freedom from the chains I I heard in my spirit there were some that felt that they were a special case that because of lineage because of medical history in their family they couldn't step into freedom and I, I want you to know that you just need to let that set in you can have freedom he paid for your freedom with his blood and uh, just a A quick story that rose in my spirit when I heard that was my mom is one of seven children. Her mother and her grandmother passed because of Paget's disease. She is the only one of seven children that didn't have it because she believed she could have freedom. I am one of the few cousins that haven't had to go. My brothers and I haven't had to go for testing. The testing, it doesn't show up till you're 40 and the testing is quite painful. And when my cousins talk about it, I have no paradigm because my mom believed she could be free from something that took so many in our family. And so I just want you to believe that that freedom counts for you, no matter what the history is, no matter what you've been told, you can walk in freedom. You can have no paradigm for what was before but you can step into a freedom because his blood paid that price for you amen see i'm not special like ed say i'm not special like ed they're like can i say that i don't know if i'm allowed I'm not making reference to you riding the short bus. It's just, I remember having to rebuke one of my spiritual daughters one day. This is going in and out. I don't know if that's okay or, okay. Um, but she, she, she felt like she was special, like her history was special. Like her upbringing was special. That her sin was more special. And I just want to say you're not special like Ed. You're special like a son and daughter of the Most High God. Every one of us, every one of us have have received eternity into our hearts. Ecclesiastes Ecclesiastes chapter 3, 11 says, God has placed eternity into the hearts of men, not in the hearts of born-again believers. Say all men. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 11 says God has put eternity in the hearts of men. The problem is that we don't have a knowledge. We don't have the knowledge of the eternity that is on the inside of us. But when we receive the knowledge of the blood and body sacrifice of Jesus Christ, it's been all accessibility granted. Legacy begins with you. Today, I choose life. Life and death has been put put before you. Strongly suggest you choose life. Amen. I just want to honor the 
the angels of this house, Brad and Renee. Amen. Come on. Bless them. Yeah, 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 yeah. We honor you today. Thank you. By faith, digging out a well, a sound, and a culture. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I honor you, my sister. I, I don't swear. I shouldn't swear. I'm a preacher. Um, but I swear that we were separated at birth. Even if you look at our noses, they're like... I just want to say I'm honored to come and thank you for the honor and the privilege to minister to this fabulous culture here at the river. I bless you. And you are trumpeting truth, that is... When you trumpet truth, it destroys facts. Say truth is greater than circumstantial facts. Hallelujah. And then could you do me a, a, one more uh, favor? Could you thank the worship team this morning? Thank you. And while you're still standing, could you do me one more favor? And could we give our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, one more thank you? Thank you. You're still standing. I want you, everybody, turn this way. Okay, now look back at me. No, I didn't say Tammy, turn around. Just look back at me. Put your head down. And I'm going to say about face. And we're all going to about face and do a 180 in the other direction. We're going to lift up our heads. Okay, you ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. About face! Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 says this. Thank you very much. You're a very, very cooperative group. You may be seated. heard in my spirit this morning when I was waking up about face. Colossians chapter 3 verse 2 says, set your mind on the things that are above, not on the things of the earth. When you set your mind, you there's intentionality. Your will is in function. And you're on purpose turning from one thing on the earth and about facing the things that are above. Say, I am seated in heavenly places far above all principalities and powers of darkness. Say, I am the righteousness of God in in, 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 Christ Jesus. Now, say there is a place in Christ. It's just not an experience that you have in your soul and your physical body. It's actually a place. And you need to live from your place of your victory and your righteousness. 
Say, Father, transform my mind, healing my eyes, unstopping my ears, and giving me the mind of Christ. I place the template of the mind of Christ on my mind right now in Jesus' name. The Lord began to teach me about spiritual warfare. He said to me, son, what you behold is what you become. Somebody say about face. About face! About face to embrace his face. He began to say, only the things that you face, you exchange glory with. Nowhere in the Bible does it ever say to face your enemy. If you face your enemy, that means you got down into the dirt because the enemy is under your feet. Beautiful are the feet of them that bring good news. Your feet are shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Luke 10, 19 says, behold. Somebody say behold. behold. When you hear, when you see behold, when you read behold, you got to say behold. You got to, you got to behold the behold. behold. You got to behold the behold. You, you got to understand that there's an exclamation mark put on that. It says, behold. Somebody say behold. 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 I have given you power to tread. Power to tread and reclaim. My reclamation comes by my reclimatization of coming up here. Behold, I've given you power to tread. Somebody say tread. Behold, I've given you power to tread. It's not behead. I was preaching at Chuck Pierce's uh, about two years ago, maybe three years ago. I think it was 2018. And, and God woke me up at 3 o'clock in the morning. And he says, you need to move from beheading to treading. He said, you need to stop focusing on your second heaven warfare and begin to see, in the, see yourself seated in heavenly places far above all principalities of dark. I'm not trying to, he, he began to share with me that, Barry, you're not trying to get through the, the, the skies of brass and the, and the gates of bronze. There is an open heaven over you. You are already seated and you're coming down with your heel on the head of the enemy. Can anybody receive your position this day? You got to move from beheading to treading. You got to move from facing your enemy and begin to face your God. Somebody said, about face, about face. Turnaround season starts with a turnaround of your face to receive his grace so you have power for the race. You are about to walk into situations and begin to release the power of the mass weapon of mass destruction called peace that will emanate from your feet. When you step in, you don't have to demand authority. You begin to walk in your authority. Say, I have given my Father in heaven my eternal yes. Cheers. When I get going, sometimes I speak out of my water bottle. The miraculous thing is something comes out. No, just kidding. About face, turn from your past. You, you gotta let go so you can about face take your gaze off your past days because your gaze will determine your days see my gaze 
determines my days. I'm a product of my sight and my hearing and my perceptions. Anybody in here born again? Hallelujah. I love the church. I love the ecclesia. If you don't if you don't spit about five drops, you didn't say it right. Ecclesia. The ecclesia are arising. The ecclesia are awakening. The ecclesia is advancing. And the ecclesia is about to abound. It's our season to take over. It is not your season to take off. Stop rapture practicing. Stop it right now. It's not time to take off. It's time to take over. It's not time to escape. It's time to dominate. I think I'm speaking to the right crowd. I don't know. I... I think there's a mentality of take over. I think there's a mentality of taking back everything that the enemy has stolen from you in the past season. I just want to say that it's time to get up from your place of ashes. It's time to get up from that place of problem. It's time to get up from that place of pain. It's time to get time to get up from that place of past. And it's time to go down and recover all. It's my season to recover all. Somebody have the audacity to say that this morning. It's my time to go down and recover all King David who was anointed king was on a 6,205 day journey when he got anointed by Samuel that was he was rejected by his his father didn't even bring him brought the other seven sons into be anointed one of them will surely this one will be anointed surely this one this one this one say it's the season it's the season the marginalized get their stuff I prophesy I don't know who it was that, that you, you have not been rejected, you've been protected, you've been covered so that you would not be discovered. I want to say to you, God hid you in the midst of darkness just like he did with Jesus. When he was two years old, he went into Egypt, the symbolization of darkness. And they could hang out because they were covered by God in the darkness and the bill was paid by three wise guys. Frankincense and myrrh. Gold. And they had enough to move to Egypt and hang out on the Nile. Covered. You, 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 you think that the enemy has done all of this? Now hear what I'm saying, what I'm not saying. Say, say, Jesus, I'm going to hear what Barry said. Amen. Because I'm not saying Jesus sent the problem, but I'm telling you Jesus is using the problem. I, I want to tell you, you've been placed in chaos on purpose because he knows what he put on inside of you. Somebody say, greater is he, greater is he, greater is he that is in me than he who is in the world. And I, I want to tell you, it's the season that the greater that he that is in you is about to come on you and flow forth from you and begin to displace everything contrary to you and set up the legacy and take over. That wealth of the wicked is about to be trained, uh, transferred into the hands of the righteous. And are you ready to handle the affluence, the influence, and the revealed mystery? Are you ready to load manage it? all say father give me the grace 
to load manage the wealth of your resources. The whole earth is yours, Lord. In my spheres of influence, in my metron of ministry, Holy Spirit, you are Lord. My resources, sorry, I was trying to speak English there. My resources, my resources. I'm not as drunk as think I am. The resources are all ours, Dad. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Somebody say it's more about joy fair than warfare. Smile. You're born again. The joy of my salvation. <laughs> what the Lord is about to do for us is going to blow people's minds. You are going to have prosperity in the midst of depravity. Healing in the midst of sickness. Peace in the midst of depression. Say, that's me. If I could have just five more minutes, could you just lift your hand? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40, 50. We've got it covered. Thank you so much. I just want to be faithful to the, to the house this morning. And I just want to share what I, I heard in the spirit as people were releasing prophetic words. There are no more chains. I just want to say the circumstantial situations that you find your in, yourself in are a facade. Somebody say, I am a spirit. I live in a body. And I possess a soul. The Bible says that man does not consist of the things that he possesses. You possess your mind, your will, and your emotions. You possess your education. You possess your history. You possess your culture. You possess these things. They do not possess you. I am a spirit. I live in a body. I'm not the sum total of my chemical makeup. I am a spirit. What we are walking through in this physical experience that us as a breathed in co-laborer and one with the spirit of the living God are having in this realm. We cannot allow the circumstantial evidence in the temporary realm dictate to our calling, election, purpose, or dream that God wants us to live in our purpose, that you were sent here on purpose, with a purpose, to fulfill a purpose, and God sent you with more resources than you could use in 10 lifetimes. Say, I am. An answer being delivered. I ain't nobody's pet project, baby. I ain't nobody's pet project. I am anointed all by myself. I, I came here with an anointing. I came here with resources. I came here on purpose, with a purpose, to fulfill a purpose and more resources than I could use in 10 lifetimes. I, I am, somebody say, overkill. I am overkill. In case you missed it the first time. It's a scene out of Mortal Kombat. Anyway. No more chains. No more chains. 
We are in the seventh day. You remember that? We're in the seventh day as we're walking around the circumstantial evidence called Jericho, the place of the crying out. We're in the seventh day of Jericho. We are in the third year of A. Pay Gimel, 5783. We're in, we're in the year, in the Hebrew calendar of 5783. They, Hebrews believe that 5,783 years ago, God created the heavens and the earth in seven days. Somebody say seventh day. There's a shout that will rout at the place called Jericho. When Jesus went into the wilderness, it was just after he got baptized in the Holy Spirit, after he got baptized in the water in the River Jordan, he got up from that place and immediately went into the wilderness. When you are filled with God, you got to find yourself in the midst of darkness so that God can produce the power that you need to dominate your day and set your captives free within your spheres of influence. Jesus went into the wilderness full of the Spirit and came out full of the power. The only thing that the circumstances and the evil one, whatever it is you're going through, the only thing that your problem or your pain does is it produces power. Say this after me. Say, my pain, my problem, they produce a payday. Say, this is my payday. This is my payday. I receive it right now. I am a generous receiver. And I receive my power and my payday in Jesus' name. God wants you to use everything that you're, you've gone through. You just don't say, oh, well, bad things happen to good people and just dust yourself off and get back up. I want you to dust yourself off and I want you to get back up, but I want you to go up. See, because your setback is not, not it is actually your setup so you can go up, so you can be filled up, so that you can rain back down in authority. Say, I'm about to rain back down in authority. This is my day, says the Lord. This is my seventh day, but this is also my third day. This is the third day of his resurrection power. We are in the third day God says in Psalms chapter 110 that in the day of his power my children shall be volunteers in the day see I'm in the day of his power I'm in the day of his power we're moving from a presence of God I love the presence don't get me wrong I love the presence, but the presence is, is an anointing to get us ready for the essence. Essence is the concentrated form. When you get the essence of something, we're we're shifting. We're shifting out of a out of a, a mindset of a, tri, a little drip and a drabble to you, and and showing up and and, and on Sunday mornings and getting our, our our booster shot. So sorry about you were saying booster shot. I haven't been back. So honest, I haven't. It's not just getting a booster shot on Sunday morning and, and then making it barely to, to the hump uh, uh, Wednesday where you get another shot of the, the, the teaching and then, you, and then you're able to get, oh, have enough so that you can get ready to, to go and get you another booster shot. No, 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 you got to come already filled with the anointing. you got to come already filled with the power. you got to come already bringing the ones that you already led in salvation into the kingdom of God. It's time for you to show up with your candle lit and extra oil all on the inside of you waiting to flow out when you come together like that so, somebody say Woodstock don't have a chance Woodstock don't have a chance Woo! say my kids don't have a chance they don't have a chance nope 
No, they're already saved, delivered, healed, already living in abundance, legacy happening. Oh my God, I can't hardly believe how good it is. Say, change my perspective. Will change my perception. And it will change my reality. face embrace his face somebody said behold the lamb behold the lamb say behold the lamb about face embrace his face behold the lamb it's if you behold the lamb you won't behold your problem if you behold the lamb you won't behold your past if you behold the lamb you won't behold your pain if you behold the lamb, you won't behold your trauma. Behold the lamb. When you behold the lamb, you get power to tread. There's another scripture. Another, sorry, transliteration. It says, behold, I've given you power to trample. God's given you power to trample serpents and scorpions. Serpents, that, that serpent there, when I did my research on this scripture, is not a viper, it's a constrictor. That you've been given the ability to trample the constrictor, the one that's trying to push the air out of you, squeeze the promises out, squeeze the life out of you. You've been, you've been given power to trample on the thing that is trying to squeeze the breath and life of, of God out of you. Say power to trample. I've got the power. Say I have the power to trample on scorpions. The thing that is trying to induce poison. Uh, 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 the, the serpent, the, the, the constrictor is trying to squeeze life out. And, and the scorpion is trying to induce poison in. The enemy's been trying to put fear into your life say i trample on fear i trample on that sucker i trample on fear come on say i trample on the constrictor of life and i trample on fear fear has no place it's under my feet in through this whole last three years, the enemy has tried to induce fear into you that there will be not enough, that there will be lack, that we'll be in control and under containment. I want to tell you everything that you've been going through, you've been trampling, you've been walking, and I see you right now full of life and full of faith, and nothing is, it can in any way stop you or hurt you. You just got to keep trampling. You just got to keep reclaiming. You just got to keep going forward. And I want to tell you, when you trample the enemy long enough you're about to be trampolined into greater things than you never even thought possible say I'm about to be trampolined I'm about to be trampolined say my best days are upon me right now you bunch of crazy fanatics Somebody say, that's me, that's me, that's me. Trampolined into your best day. Trampolined. Specifically because of the enemy. You got to know that he's paying your way forward because there's a greater grace that God put into your place and of your obedience before time began. Somebody say, Revelation 13, 8. It says that Jesus was the lamb that was slain before the foundations of the earth. Ooh, we can get into a theological doctrinal discussion about that bad boy. I tell you, but I, <laughs> but I want to tell you, the Bible says, and it also says in 1 Peter, in chapter 1, talks about very the very very close the same thing and in two or more witnesses i've established this doctrine that jesus was slain before the foundations of the earth and if jesus was slain before the foundations of the earth that makes him your savior before he was ever your creator oh you didn't hear that I, maybe i'll just slow it down a little bit 
if Jesus was, was a lamb that was slain before the foundations of the earth. That means that when he made Adam and Eve, he pulled them out of the clay that he created by his mouth. The reconstitution of the light, because everything is made up out of light. Light, dirt is just light at a different frequency. Ah, let's, anyway. So he made Adam and Eve out of something that he already pre-created. He created us in his mind and then he formed us with his hands. Breathed life into us. But before that was created, the lambs was slain before the earth was made. Making Jesus your savior before he was your creator. See, he had my back before I had a back to be had. There's never a situation that you're in that you don't have more power of God to not only win, but dominate and open up a greater sphere of influence. There's not a situation that you face that God did not go ahead of time. Ephesians 2.10 says that God, uh, thank you for the amen, went ahead of time and set up the good paths before time began in which you should walk upon. And the key is finding that path. Say, Father, I've given you my eternal yes because you've given God your eternal yes you are smack dab in the middle of his will for you when you give God your eternal yes you're, you're giving him faith in him becoming faith of him and in obedience to him when you have the faith when you have faith in God faith of God in obedience to God say I'm unstoppable irresistible, indestructible, undeniable, non-combustible, 10 foot tall and bulletproof. You, you cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped in the midst of your raw obedience to him. I suppose I better get to my scripture. I only have about 40 minutes left. I was told you brought snacks. It's not my fault you didn't bring snacks. I, you were told to bring snacks. This is the inside scoop I got from the head down. Oh, there she is. You got your snacks. How many people are getting fed today? try to just I'm going to give you just a, a snip bit so that you guys will have me back in this season ladies and gentlemen this is a word from the Lord there is the rise of the remnant warriors say I am the remnant warrior and I believe the Lord calls you the storm walkers Say, I am a storm walker. There's a remnant of believers arising out of the ashes of trauma, tribulation, turmoil, and past troubles. Even now, says the Lord. Somebody say, now. This remnant is a direct answer with solutions to the battled, wearied world. Say, I am an answer being delivered. I'm not a problem to be solved. I have more resources than I could use in 10, 10 lifetimes. Literally overkill. 
The remnant believers have come through storm after storm after storm, mentally, physically, emotionally, socially, financially, and have been tried in the furnace of affliction and found to be true. Somebody say redemption is greater than perfection. I'm 80s reference, like raise the roof kind of thing going on here. Get ready, remnant. Say, Father, help me. For you are about to be platformed into all spheres of influence within your metron of life. You have become the storm walker. Storm walkers are placed within chaos on purpose. God knowing what he placed on the inside of them to bring forth order. Order precedes the glory, the outpouring of glory. And what has happened over the last three years is God has been taking apostolic order back. He said, I want my church back. I'm sick and tired of people worshiping worship and prophesying about prophecy. I want my church back, says the Lord. And I have taken order, apostolic order. Order and apostolic order has been established here. So get ready for the glory. Get ready for the glory. Say, Father, give me the grace to handle the glory. Give me the grace to handle the outpouring uh, that your order has given us the potential of. Somebody say, give me a grace to handle the glory. Storm markers are placed within chaos on purpose. God knowing what he placed on the inside of them to bring order, order proceeds to the outpouring of the weightier presence of his anointing. Storm markers have the audacity to sit down in the midst of chaos. Say, I have the audacity to sit down in the midst of chaos and look around and see and lay hold of the treasures hidden in the darkness for me. God hides his greatest treasures in the darkest places. Why did he think you were so special that you had to walk through that valley of the shadow of death? And you thought it was just the enemy. He knows who you are. He knows the fabric and the way he created you to survive and then thrive in different atmospheres. The ascetic-ness of the world cannot permeate permanently the structure of your being because God made you to be in that family, to be in that school, to be in that city, to be in that region. But the enemy tried to destroy, kill, and steal. I want you to have the audacity to sit down and look around and knowing your security and who God has called you to be. And I want you to find the truth. I want you to look. I want you to look around. I want you to see even in the place that you're at right now. I want you to be able to look around and I want you to see the treasures. There are such treasures that are waiting for you to find that, that as you walk through that valley of the shadow of death, there's about to be a feast and a celebration because you need to go into a place where to whom nothing has been provided. There are people in your spheres of influence, in your family, in your school, in your job. There are people that nothing has been provided for them. And God set you on purpose in, in the darkness to be light and bring forth resources and heal the sick and raise the dead and cast, cast their devils. You know, doing that all with a big smile. Storm markers 
are those who prevail over the turbulent and chaotic storms within the physical and soulish realm because of the inner workings of the Holy Spirit. Stormwalkers over the last season have allowed Holy Spirit through the word of God build the infrastructure of the dominion of peace on the inside of them causing sustainability of victory no matter the severity, longevity, or intimidation that the sore storm seems to bring. Say I'm overkill. Stormwalkers have become resilient, undeniable, indestructible, non-combustible, indomitable, irresistible, teachable, and reachable. Stormwalkers know whose they are, who they are, and to whom they're called. Stormwalkers. You see all the notes I'm passing by? It's amazing what you're missing. Stormwalkers walk in the storm walk through the storm, walk on the storm, and they have become the storm. The spirit of the fear of the Lord is about to come out of you and strike vengeance on the camp of the enemy and everything contrary to the kingdom of God, dream of God, and the purpose of God concerning you and your family. The spirit of the fear of the Lord is about to flood out of you like a storm of vengeance. Okay, hear me. Now, you already said you're going to hear what Barry is saying, not what you think Barry's saying. This is not against people. This is against systems of demonic influence. We use the word, the sword of the Lord against the enemy and the towel for the people. So when we're taking dominion, we have love in mind. We're operating in righteousness, peace, and joy grace. We're operating in the foundation of faith and hope. We're operating in the kingdom principles. Salvation and deliverance and healing. Anybody in your sphere of influence, nobody's getting stolen from, nobody's being raped, nobody's being murdered. That righteousness, peace, joy, grace, faith, and hope and love, all these things are established in our lives. There's a remnant army that is rising right now and they're called storm walkers. You'll walk through storms. You'll walk in the storms. You'll find treasures in the midst of the dark places because your focus is not on what you're going through. Your focus is on who you're going to. This morning, many of us have been focused on what we're going through. It's time to recalibrate our thoughts, refocus our gaze, and begin to hear properly again. Could you, could you just bow your, your head and close your eyes? I want to I want to offer two beautiful resources for you today. One is meditation. Yeah, yeah. Salvation. You're like Paul the Apostle. He said, the things I want to do, I don't do, but the things I don't want to do, I find myself continually doing. And he says, oh, this wretched flesh. In this season, you've been overwhelmed with more problems, more pain. More circumstances, 
that you knew how to deal with. And you found yourself in a place of being overwhelmed. Testing one, two. There we are. That you're about to be overwhelmed by his grace and his mercy today. With every head bowed and every eye closed just for a minute. And we could do it the other way around. We could have every head up and every eye. And, and, and I do it both, and I, it, it doesn't matter. Right now, I feel that this is just something we need to do. Is that If that's you, you've been overwhelmed, just lift your hand up. <clears throat> A whack of us. Okay. Is there anybody here? You can put your hands down just for a minute. Anybody here and you've never given your heart to the Lord or you know you need to make your, your ways right with the Lord, could you just lift your hand? Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you. Father, at this holy moment where lives are being changed and rearranged, we're asking for mass deliverance. Angels, partner with me now. Minister. I speak to this cycle of trauma I speak to the hereditary curses that gets you caught up in the traumatic happening. And there's somebody that had trauma, uh, an abuse at the age of seven. And I speak right now to the grace that was just before the day of that trauma. And I call forth that grace right up until now. And I speak forth a deliverance from trauma. I release, I command trauma to be broken. The cycles of trauma and concentrating on your past. Broken in Jesus' mighty name. Say, Father God. Let's try that again. Say, Father God. I receive the anointing of deliverance. I receive my freedom and my liberty that Jesus paid for. My plea is the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ against my past, against my problems, against the pain. In Jesus' name, and I say today, Jesus, you're getting what you paid for. I give you my whole life, my spirit, my soul, my body, my now, my past, and my future. In Jesus' name, I am set free in every way from anyone's control right now. In Jesus' name, amen. If you believe that, give God a hand clap of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shekara mamondo rabaka shekara basandai wochele la la mama. I'm just so jealous for you guys. Come hungry. Every week, come hungry. Come thirsty. You'll get more filled. You'll get more powerful. You'll get more healings. You'll get more power to deliver. 
you'll get direction. Honor your pastors. Bless them. Let the anointing flow as you honor them. They who bring the word of God, the Bible says, deserves double honor. And they're not asking for it. I'm asking for that from you for them. Because I know that will bless you. Culture of honor is the gateway to more authority. Pardon me? Okay. And the hinges in which that swings upon is gratitude. What's happening here? Just add your faith in right now. Yes. Jesus name. Life. Yes. Yes. Life come right now. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Life. Life come right now. Life come right now. Sharabuta. I take authority over the spirit of infirmity spirit of infirmity bow your knee to the name of the lord jesus christ i take you i say bow your knee right now and come off I break the spirit. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ against the spirit of death. You shut your mouth. You shut down your activities. And I command you right now in Jesus' name, get off of him. Life. 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 In Jesus' mighty name. Woo strength, strength come right now. Strength come right now. Jesus' mighty name. Healing come right now in Jesus' mighty name. Healing come right now, Lord God, from the top of his head. From the top of his head to the soles of his feet right now. Spirit of life going to every cell, organ, and tissue of his body. Life right now. Life, 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 life. We are not satisfied. We are not satisfied. Go ahead and have a seat, sir. Rabba singa randa ribishika ramanda hai. Ye la randa randa randa. Breath of life. Come on, guys. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Haraman. Full restoration of health. Full restoration of health. Blood focus, blood flow, blood flow now. Circulation, bring the oxygen right through the capillaries, the arteries, the veins. Oh, Lord God, we thank you for healing your son. Ah, life come. I speak to the organ of skin, the organ called skin. Receive, receive life. Breath of God, breath of God right now in Jesus' mighty name. Oh, Father God, right from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. <laughs> say, somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Say, Jesus, you are greater than every knee of sickness and disease, infirmity, viruses, infections, bow to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Father God, for the victory today. And Lord God, just continue to increase, Lord God, the levels of life, the levels of life. What's your name? Mike? Oh, you prefer Michael? Don't call him Mike. He likes being called Michael. I know, that's the problem. He needs to hear Michael. <laughs> Father God, in Jesus' name, Michael. 
top of your head, the soles of your feet. I release life. Isaiah 10, 27b says the yoke is destroyed because of the anointing. Somebody say the anointing. Say anointing oil. Yeah, just pray over him. Just, I'm over here. I, I, I'm, I'm the big show now. I'm right over here. I got the mic. I'm right over here. Oh, I'm seen. She sees me. God's favorite sees me. Okay, okay, I'll behave. No, I won't. I just lie. Father God, forgive me. See, the spirit of life in Christ Jesus flows throughout every cell, organ, and tissue of my body. Isaiah 10, 27b says this. The yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing oil. That word oil is shemen. It's the seed of life. The yoke is destroyed because of the seed of life. And I release the seed of life into Michael right now. From the inside out. Spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Come bursting out of you, Michael. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Can you give God a hand clap of praise this morning? You guys, I don't want you to take lightly what just happened there because I was holding his back and he was not breathing. He was not breathing at all. And I said to Barry, call off death. I started smacking him. He took authority over death, started pounding his back, and instantly he came to and came right up onto his feet. He was not breathing. Come on now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. So we just come against the spirit of death right now in the name of Jesus. Every demonic spirit right now of infirmity, every spirit of sickness and disease, we break you with the power of the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. We, we just lift the blood right now over him. Father, your word says that you predestined, preordained every number of our days. And if the, and Lord, we are calling forth every minute of every day that you preordained for Mike. So Father, we bless you and praise your mighty name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we bless you and we praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We just... Lord, we just call forth the completion of what it is you've already started in Mike. Lord, you got him up off that ground. You put breath back into his lungs. So, Father, we just command life to come back into the blood of Michael. Lord, we praise you, Jesus. Oxygen, rejuvenate yourself throughout his circulatory system. Lord, we praise you. We command all brain activity to be normal right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we praise you, Father God. Lord, we believe bless you and we lift you on high Lord Jesus you are so good father hallelujah Jesus let's just lift the name of the Lord and praise him right now praise him right now hallelujah Jesus 
blood sugar increase kidney function work right now in the name of Jesus liver function right now in the name of Jesus blood pressure increase blood pressure come to normal right now in the precious name of Jesus we just command the heart to work properly right now in the name of Jesus Heart work right now in the name of Jesus. Pump properly right now in the name of Jesus. We speak to his heart right now, to his kidneys, to his liver right now in the name of Jesus. All stroke, we command you to cease and desist right now in the name of Jesus. Proper blood flow right now in the name of Jesus. Lord, we bless you and praise your mighty name. For you are good, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Father. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We lift your mighty.